everybody, how's it going? I am home again from work. Uh, story of my fucking life lately. But this is why I'm venting. Um, my hair's a mess, my face is a mess. My life is a mess right now. And this is why Kamala or the Democratic Party cannot win. Um, not attacking anyone, this is just my fucking truth. And it's my truth for a lot of people. I've been to the emergency room three times in one month because I don't have a primary doctor. Um, bottom line is I make the bare minimum. I am a single person household. I don't make enough uh, to really qualify as somebody who is financially stable in this world, uh, which means I make just enough for my bills and I don't have much to save at the end of the month so I don't make an astronomical amount of money anymore which is crazy because I make 20 bucks an hour which is five bucks over the um, state minimum wage I'm technically doing better than most jobs financially but with the cost of rent and food and just living in general I break even every month um, so I've been <laughs> going to these sites to get medical insurance and I found what I thought was medical insurance, dental and vision for 80 bucks a month, which is something I could easily afford. It wasn't breaking my bank. Um, I kept going to the hospital all this time thinking I had medical insurance, um, but for some reason I didn't think that the emergency was fully covered, so I was paying these co-pays. The last time I went to the hospital was Monday this week and they said, um, sorry, you don't have medical on your insurance. The lady called for me. She flat out said, they said you only have dental and vision and some kind of chiropractic thing, which might help with my ticker. But they still, won. when I called to make an appointment, they wouldn't take that insurance. So basically, I had no medical insurance this whole time, racking up all these bills, thinking it's going to be covered for a uh, insurance scam on the computer. I went through the same thing like when you apply for Medicaid I filled out the application somebody called me they helped me and set it up it seemed very official but when you if you don't pay attention sorry if you don't pay attention to exactly what they're doing I've been paying all this time for just dental and vision you know I'm lucky that the people saw me with that when they did and I only had like a $25 copay but I can't I can't get into any place that isn't a clinic because I don't have insurance. And so all day today, I've been sitting here. My main objective was to, you know, while I'm sitting here trying to eat and get my body back up so I can go back to work tomorrow. The only reason why I stayed home today is the dizziness. I'm having a hard time standing up because I can't keep food down, which means, you know, I'm basically starving myself not on purpose it's anxiety it's stress and anxiety because I went to the hospital I was tested for everything I, I was tested for COVID COPD um, all kinds of breathing issues like why I would have difficulty of shortness of breath and dizziness it's all sh stemming to stress and anxiety I clearly need anxiety medicine um, and to get into a, a psychologist office for a little bit just to get myself back on track all of which I cannot do without insurance so I went to the bare minimum which is for poor people it's called Medicaid and so I called them today this is exactly why the Democratic Party cannot win they literally said due to the influx of immigrants applying for Medicaid it's going to take you six months to even get approved unless you are pregnant or have a serious illness that pushes you up the list these immigrants come first so I literally said so wait wait let me get this straight somebody who is not born in this country who is here illegally is getting Medicaid first before me I actually need Medicaid I work in this country and I pay taxes and I am moved to the bottom of the list for these people this is not just happening to me, it's happening to everybody in this country. Elderly people, people like me, who are just breaking even. All of these people, not born in this country, have never paid a day of tax. They're getting food stamps before us. They're getting 
housing for free. They're getting $60,000 handed to them to be here. I do not even make $60,000 a year and I bust my ass and they, they gouge me in taxes to pay for these people. This is the Democratic Party's doing. I don't support either, but I have to support Republicans because I need serious help and there at no point is it okay to help people that are not citizens before you're citizens. If anything, the immigrants should be pushed down the list and every American citizen should be helped first. We come first. We were born here, we pay our taxes, we work, we live, we raise our families here. We do not get help moving when we need a house. We get kicked on the street and we're told, well, get a job. But if an immigrant comes in here and lives on the street, you're going to give them an apartment, you're going to give them clothes, you're going to give them soap, shampoo, conditioner, whatever they need to take care of themselves. And 60 grand a year, that is more than 60% of this country make in a year. And you're just handing it to them. Where does that money come from? I also have been waiting for my taxes to come back. They weren't going to be paying me very much. I think it was only like 150 bucks. But since COVID, every year I get a $500 bill from the United States government because I do not have children and because I am a single person. They are doing this to everybody who was unemployed during COVID for one day, even if it's one fucking day or one week or one month, um, that you were on the program for. Every single person who got assistance that is an American citizen that does not have a child to take care of or makes above a certain amount is being charged $500 out. They either pull it out of your taxes or they send you a bill. Some people are even getting more, a thousand. It really depends on how long you are out for. So that money the Republican Party gave us, the Democrats, you know, they're, how many years later? What is that, five now? So, for the short amount of time that I was unemployed in my life, you're going to just continuously keep taking my taxes to pay for immigrants that are getting handouts left and right? You have no idea the war that is coming because if the Democratic Party gets in and this does not fucking change, there will be riots. We are starving, we can't afford our rent, and we go to work. Like, these people don't work. They can't work because they don't have a work visa. And I fully support every fucking company in America that refuses to hire immigrants without a work visa. Hold the fucking fort. I did not sign up to take care of these people. I do not want to take p care of these people. I do not pity these people. They came here illegally. I do not trance around in other countries asking for shit. I understand that we are in a most part a better position, but I still struggle to eat too. I'm poor too, and my own country is flicking me aside for someone who doesn't belong here. Point blank period. That is the reason why the Democrats need to be silenced and shut down. They are going to destroy our country, and we are already fucked as it is. All of us, right now, like me, who needs fucking anxiety medicine and can't get it. All the people that are committing suicide right now because they're not getting the help they need because an immigrant is. How the fuck can you support a party that's pushing your own people into the ground? Our rents are so astronomical and unreasonable that we have to work two to three jobs just to afford a mortgage or rent. And these people are getting money to live here? Taking housing for people who actually need it? We have a, a, a shortage of housing because of immigrants. They did not come here right. I don't care what their situation is. I do not want to hear it. I do not feel bad for you. I'm not going to pay for you. And we are angry. And we're going to start attacking these immigrants because you're not doing what you're supposed to do. And unless you are a bloody ass fucking battle in your streets, which is coming, it is coming. We're going to take our country back ourselves. We're going to push these people out ourselves without you. Because this is fucking ridiculous that I call an American insurance company. That's the third person that said that to me. I'm sorry. 
It's going to take you six months to get insurance because you're not an immigrant. Fuck you. I'm an American.